Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I will give you a hotel and room tour of the Parkfront Hotel at Universal Studios Japan. As you can see, it's literally right across from the theme park and literally inside of City Walk, as I'll show you later in the video. The theming of the hotel is pretty interesting as it has some of the most well-known scenes in America such as Las Vegas and New York and also has to do with time traveling through those different areas. The lobby honestly transported me to New York, so the theming was very well done. They also have a restaurant buffet called Akala, I think I'm saying it right, on this same floor that always looked super busy and we never actually had time to go, so I didn't get any clips of it, but just an FYI. And sadly, for those who actually care about gyms at hotels, this is what it consisted of and it's smaller and hotter than it looks. Interestingly, they also still had a lot of Easter decor at both the hotel and the parks and we went in June. But our room was a deluxe room luxury floor, which was floors 26 to 28 and had park view. The theme was 21st century American future. And as soon as you come in to the left, you'll find the room with the amazing bidet Toto toilet. And then down the entrance hallway to the right, we have this counter space, excuse my backpack, with lots of park and hotel info. You got coffee machine, mini fridge, and tea set. The bedroom area is super spacious. We got a TV, air purifier, this sofa, and as you will see, two beds. And to be completely honest, I think these have been the two firmest beds I've ever slept on that when I sat down, I literally like rebounded and I was so tired, I passed out, so it wasn't a problem, but I just wanna let you know. And as you can see, the bathroom sinks and the closet are right next to the bed with minimum division, unless you wanna pull down these curtains. As what seems to be the standard in Japanese hotel room bathrooms, and I wish anywhere and everywhere, we have the bathtub and the shower next to each other with a stepping stool and bowl for showering. You also get a laundry bag and basket, and they do have laundry facilities on certain floors, which is awesome! And you also get plenty of toiletries to play around with, including some skincare, bath salts, cotton sets, relaxing pads for your feet, hairbrushes, and a pajama. Like I said, we had theme park view, which was amazing. You have a view of City Walk right underneath us, as I will show you in a moment. You also have the city of Osaka to the front, and then to the left, you have Universal Studios Japan, which you get early entry to, and people start lining up insanely early for. Here is the entrance to the hotel and right outside of it you're in the middle of city walk and only a couple of minutes away from the actual park entrance so compared to the previous hotels we stayed during the trip this was the one we spent the least amount of time in as we were always out but it's such an amazing experience being right in front of the park and in the middle of the action minus not having the most comfortable bed in my opinion and one of the smallest gyms ever but other than that it was such a cool experience because of its proximity to everything and that's it for today's video thank you so much for joining me today the next video will be our universal studios japan vlog so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one bye